introduce you to the director of our museum, Kulmira Shalbaeva, who is the researcher and the professor and wrote a monography about Evgeny Matveyevich Sidorkin's artistic legacy recently. Over the last few years, I was fortunate enough to um, have worked closely with one artist called Pasha Kaz. Um, our collaboration was actually a mutual journey of inspiration and learning one from each other. Due to my work um, on the book about Pasha Kaz, I started looking into one particular artist who is probably one of the great Kazakh artists of the 20th century, Yevgeny Sidorkin. How would you introduce Sidorkin to somebody who has never heard of him? Evgeny Matveyevich Sidorkin was actually born in Russia and he was trained in Russia. He was already a trained a professional artist when he came to Kazakhstan in 1957. He was uh, creating a lot of murals or muralistic works um, in, the, in the public space. Is this part of his legacy represented in your current exhibition? And how is he shaping, let's say, the public art of, of, of Almata today? Also in the theater of uh, Kazakh drama and theater, uh, which actually happened due to the fact that he won the competition with his friend Bogomolo, who was also a monumental artist. So they used concrete and some sort of ceramic, which is called keramzit, for creating uh, um, inspired by the Kuzhibek uh, theatrical play, a uh, huge monument, 30 meters in length. Um, he said himself that he was so much inspired by this play that he decided that it's not enough to put it on the list on the piece of paper. He wanted to create something massive. And this happened that this work won the competition and uh, now it's in the theater of Kazakh drama. How can we use Sidorkin? How can we use Pasha Kaz and other contemporary artists that are in Kazakhstan today to enable this, how shall I say, free experience and an immediate experience of arts and culture within the public space? There was this story about one of the monumental artworks that was almost destroyed by the builders and somehow one person decided to dedicate his time and effort into saving it and because it was also um, by due to the interest of the public, because citizens of Amati absolutely love everything we have uh, regarding the monumental art. So it was saved and now it is um, it is placed in the park, uh, the zone for relaxation, and uh, etc. here in the mountains, as you know, Amati is located in the mountains, and it's accessible to the public. And due to the effort of these people that absolutely appreciate and love what monumental artists created, it was saved. And also, uh, when you speak about contemporary artists, it is also very much appreciated, not only the old works, but also contemporary works. People, uh, from what Gunmir Shalbaeva says, she reads about what people say, what people think regarding the contemporary monumental and public art. It is, um, it is loved by the citizens of Kazakhstan, and it is it is very, very good that instead of having a concrete wall without anything, we can have a beautiful piece of art. С этим фронтоном связана одна история. Дело в том, что так как Сидоркин был новатор, он одним из первых начал использовать в своем творчестве элементы звериного царского стиля. И тогда государственная комиссия, они не хотели принимать эту работу. Они, так как правящие государственные идеологически ориентированная комиссия сочла, что эта работа слишком нетрадиционная, что там элементы не современные, что это откат в прошлое, что это вообще не, не может иметь место быть в социалистическом искусстве. That I find in particularly interesting because obviously Sidorkin was working in the time where ideology of Soviet realism had to be represented, especially in the public um, public space. Sidorkin was not really interested in what was happening in the USSR regarding the 
propaganda regarding the ideology of the Soviet Union, etc. He was basically looking into the eternal values, the beauty and the harmony, and that what makes him timeless. У него нет победных реляций социализма, передовиков производства, от всей той идеологической машины он счастливо избежал. If we are looking back at least at his monumental works in the outside, we do have this kind of rise of modernism and then kind of depictions of looking in the back. How does this work together? Именно в те годы шло активное бурное строительство архитектурных новых сооружений. И при этом перед архитекторами ставили задачу, они хотели в русле мировых тенденций строить модерновые здания. Архитекторы старались, сохраняя мировые тенденции, вот этот вот универсализм культур и в то же время внести в них национальные особенности, допустим, арки, допустим, внедрение орнаментов и в том числе в монументально-декоративном искусстве, тем более это прослеживалось. Именно э, архитектура плюс национальная форма, плюс подчеркивание национальных особенностей в виде тем, сюжетов, э, декора, орнаментов и так далее was also seen by the architects and the specialists coming from Russia that were talking about the modernistic architecture in the USSR. And they said that in Kazakhstan, it is very clear the Kazakh ethnical motifs that are somehow integrated and create the synthesis of modern building with the Kazakh forms and shapes and ornaments. He was doing a lot of collaborative works together with other artists. So, I mean, is this a kind of a spirit of that time about collectivism and about us doing together things? Or um, could it also be that Sidorkin Agai, who is coming originally from drawing and etching, actually was also forced to rely on um, expertise of his colleagues? <laughs> В тяжелом физическом труде одному просто тяжело, во-первых. Во-вторых, и сегодня тоже многие современные художники работают коллективно, по два, по три человека. Ну, наверное, потому что как бы, в группе сделать это легче. Я не думаю, что его коллаборация с Богомоловым заключалась в том, что Сидоркину нужны были чьи-то подсказки или советы. Нет, он совершенно однозначно самостоятельный человек, и все его творчество насколько новаторское, в соединении вот, э, европейской техники э, искусства, плюс вот, гуманистический э, российский вот, папа, да, который э, присущ искусству и литературе э, русской, плюс э, вот, казахская поэтика, э, древние символы, древние искусства, длинные помощники ему были не нужны, я думаю, здесь there have been some recent discoveries of old works by Sidorkin uh, in Almaty, and they have been partly restored. Speaking about the fact that you mentioned the recently discovered works of Sidorkin that, as you said, were unknown, the thing is that they were not unknown because they were built during the opening of the former cinema, Celine, which is now a contemporary museum, contemporary art museum. So uh, during one of the reconstructions, there were panels put in front of those frescoes, and they were there for several years because of people that were owning the, the cinema did not understand the value of it. However, now with the new owner of this building, they discovered again uh, the works of Sidorkin, the frescoes that was there, and they removed the panels. And now, fortunately, we are able to see them in the way they are, and we're very lucky that they were not covered with paint or they were not destroyed. Today, you are having a, a major exhibition about uh, Sidorkin's life and work. Is Sidorkin influencing the creation of contemporary artworks of um, um, contemporary artists in Almaty today? And if so, what kind of influence does he have? Он оказал громадное влияние на не только на последователей, но даже на своих современников. Надо сказать, что тогда ситуация в изобразительном искусстве Казахстана была совершенно феноменальный, поскольку, да, он великий художник, но он творил, он не был один поле воин, 
их там целая плеяда талантливейших художников тогда была, и живописцев, и графиков. Это была особая творческая среда. Они друг друга подпитывали. И э, среди тех, кто шел вместе или после за Сидоркиным, они, да, они э, зачастую пользовались его находками. Например, э, они учились у него использовать тот э, вариант э, декора, который он взял из сакского звериного стиля, элемент круга, или там вот ритмику поз, или композиционные решения. То есть э, художники, на самом деле, очень много почерпнули и э, он оказал громадное влияние. Я надеюсь, что я встречусь с вами очень скоро и увидеть вашу экспозицию в живую. Спасибо за ваше время.